Hello. I'm going to do a simple demonstration involving the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide catalyzed by platinum. I'm going to take 6% hydrogen peroxide, put 25 milliliters of it in a graduated cylinder, add the platinum, which will cause the hydrogen peroxide to decompose into water and oxygen. I'm going to then do the glowing splint test on the oxygen. I'm going to take a wooden splint, ignite it, blow out the flame, and then introduce the uh, glowing splint into the cylinder, and the oxygen will cause the, uh, the, the wood to burst into flames. The reaction involves the oxygen plus the carbohydrate of the wood to produce carbon dioxide and water. I should mention that this reaction, the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, is exothermic, so we will notice that the solution becomes uh, noticeably warm as the reaction proceeds. I hope you enjoy this demonstration. Okay, so here's the hydrogen peroxide, 25 milliliters, 6%. This is called 20 volume hydrogen peroxide. You can get it at uh, beauty supply stores. I'm going to introduce the platinum discs. This is platinum coated discs into the solutions. I'm going to introduce three of them to make it go nice and fast, but it works with just one. And you can see the bubbles forming as the reaction proceeds. Um, the platinum discs um, are found in supplies uh, that involve uh, contact uh, lenses cleaners. Uh, they're hard to find, but they're still available. So the reaction is proceeding. The platinum is catalyzing the reaction of the hydrogen peroxide to produce oxygen and water. And I have a, a wooden splint here, and I'm going to, uh, ideally you should wait a few minutes, but uh, to save time I'm going to start right now. I'm going to ignite it with a butane lighter. And you can see the flame. Now I'm going to blow out the flame. And you can see the flame is glowing. And now I'm going to introduce the flame the, the glowing splint into the container and it bursts into flame. Okay, you can practically wait for that ember to go, die out and it will still burst into flame. And it makes a popping sound. Sometimes it's louder than others, but it makes a nice popping sound. I hope you can hear the bubbles forming. That was a nice loud one. Now the reaction is exothermic, as I mentioned, so I can feel the heat. The uh, platinum discs are really heavier than the water, but uh, because of the bubbles on it, they burst, they uh, float. You can do this over and over again. It just smells up the room a bit. But it's a nice reaction, and it really builds up. It takes a while, but it really builds up. You can see it's going pretty pretty fast. Now let me turn this so you can see the bubbles a little better. I hope they're they're visible. And here's my... I, I don't even have to put it in very far. It pops, makes a neat popping sound which uh, students seem to enjoy. So this is a nice demonstration. Um, you can do it with 3% hydrogen peroxide, but it works better with the 6. And as I said, it's 20 volume hydrogen peroxide that can be obtained from any beauty supply store. Um, let me do it one more time. Okay, thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and that you find it can be used in your classroom in chemistry. And uh, I'll see you next time.